a bit of a legacy to hold on to here. Presenter Steve Hopper. I ruined my hair. Does that look good? That's a really good question. I'm not really Thank sure. <laughs> it's two two. So here we are on the main pitch here at St George's Park. Whilst this is essentially a training exercise, you would know it by watching the game. Portugal, known for fish, Cristiano Ronaldo and Port. Have you some more Ibiza, sir? Uh, yeah, sure, thanks. From the first game, we'll, we'll all be ready to go. I'm just outside Wembley Stadium, although we're not going to be watching it there, we're going to be watching it over here, which is the Box Park. You all are being a bit nasty in this first nasty. half. Yeah, you, you fouled quite a lot. Oh. It's here, match day, England versus Croatia in the Nations League. Please do take a seat, I'll, uh, I'll answer any questions. I'm in the England changing room, and this is the, the tunnel that so many greats have experienced. Cheeky sport here with latest TV. That's going to haunt you for the rest of your <laughs> career now. Golden boot winner, Harry Kane does it again. What do you need to improve your game? Are there any key qualities that you're looking to develop? I aim for that, just so you know. This behind me is the £32 million performance centre for Brighton and Hove Albion. I'm just in the media section. Can the Albion adopt me? That is the big question on everybody's lips. You are a Man City supporter. Right. Not many of you here today, are there? <laughs> oh, don't give me that. <laughs> Look at the amount of support the city of Brighton and Hove Albion have brought with them. What's the score going to be today, young man? 2 1 after extra time. 2 1 after extra time. Dramatic. Can Brighton and Hove Albion adopt me today? Yes, absolutely. That's what I want to know. The Lionesses. Georgia, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well. Are you looking forward to the World Cup? Yeah, I'm very excited. It's Ellen White here from the England squad. It looks like we're about to get a tram to the stadium. <laughs> oh, I've got big shoulders, so... Yeah, it kind of helps when you're in goal. Yeah, it sure does. As you can see behind me, the Women's World Cup. I mean, you guys were pioneers. Well, I certainly never imagined that I'll play for a England. We're going to be visiting a place known as Valenciennes. Bienvenue par la Lyonnaise. That's improved dramatically over the last week. So we're just going to have a quick chat with Phil Neville. For us to be successful in the World Cup, we're going to have to do something that we've never done before. It's Ellen White again! Oh! You want to see scenes in English women's football you've never seen before. World Cup latest was our show of the summer. And England finally go through! Are England going to win the World Cup? Absolutely. It's coming home! I do hope that the following doesn't cause you any offence. No, yeah! oh, who am I kidding? Come on, England! Hello, welcome back to the World Cup Latest. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to... Uh, no, actually, I'm in Luton. I'm not going to wish you good luck. <laughs> Football shirts are a bit of a controversial subject. That's, Based on your shirt alone. That's a winning shirt. It's there! Football has come home in this World Cup and we have to remember that it has. Whatever's going on in your life, you can put it all aside and put your hopes and dreams into 11 players that are there for your country. But for 90 minutes, people are united and they join together. And that's what football does. That went all right, didn't it? How many takes was that? 